Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is much needed. <laughs> I'm gonna be going through my whole makeup collection and doing a big old purge of old products, expired products, products I don't use anymore. Um, it's been a hot minute since I did something like this and I've been getting, you know, some new makeup recently so it's important to get rid of old stuff to bring in the new stuff but before we get to our makeup purge i'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button red button says subscribe i'm gonna need you to hit it we have a lot of fun here on my channel doing makeup food fashion thrifting everything <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up both of those things would really help me out and i would really appreciate it so let's get to this makeup decluttering So this is my trusty makeup dresser thing, my bob. And we're just gonna go from the top bottom and get rid of some stuff. Off-brand beauty blender, too hard, didn't like it. Trash. Maybelline Superstay Matte Foundations. I really like these super full coverage, dewy finish, but very old. <laughs> CoverGirl Clean Fresh. This is their like new line. There's absolutely no coverage in this. Like you might as well go for a BB cream. Didn't really like this, so. So this is my little Fenty collection. Um, obsessed, I love this formula, but like literally the oils are like leaking out of it. I think I've had these since 2017. Um, so I think it's time for these to go. I don't even know how old this Born This Way foundation is. Um, it's really nice if you have dry skin. I would recommend it, but mine is very old. This Wet n Wild foundation is really nice. Like, so expensive too. It's great covered. So inexpensive. But it has a very strong smell of paint. And I don't think my sensitive skin enjoys that. So they're going to go as well. This is a KKW Beauty Concealer. And it's actually one of the best concealers I've ever tried. I really like it. It's very full coverage without looking heavy and creasing. Um, but it is basically empty. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. So that's gonna go. I tried this glassy primer thing that came in my BoxyCharm. Um, it was, it was pretty. But I have oily skin, so like the whole glassy skin thing doesn't really work out for me, so that is going. All right, I think that is it for our first drawer. Second drawer is highlighters, nope. Second drawer is blushes and bronzers, I believe. Honestly, I use a lot of these still, so probably not gonna be getting rid of a lot of these. These are the KK the KKW Beauty bronzer or like contour and highlight sticks. And I got them back in like, when did this release? Like 2017 or something like that. I got them back when I did a blog and I did a whole blog um, post on them, but I basically just bought them to review them and I ended up not ever using them again after that. So I think it's time for these to go. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna get rid of out of that drawer. Okay, this drawer is highlighters and there is some that I literally never use, so I wanna get rid of them. Starting with this e.l.f. gloss thing, like I thought I was gonna use it and I bought it and I never used it, so. I mean, I think I tried it. Like it's really pretty, but I just don't see myself using it.
This highlighter is so pretty, but I don't think I'll ever be... I just don't think it works with my skin tone. Oh, it's so pretty, though. I might want to keep it for an eyeshadow. Okay, yeah, I don't want to throw that away. I like it. <laughs> okay, so this drawer is going to take a hot minute. This is my liquid lips... Well, just lips in general drawer. A lot of these are expired and smell weird and, like, need to go... <laughs> This is KVD Lolita. I really never wear colors like this and I've had this for probably like four or five years. So this is a Kylie gloss and so cute. It's basically almost empty and very old, so. I feel like I never really reach for colors like that. I'd like completely forgotten I had this, um, these L'Oreal chocolate liquid lipstick things and they actually have really pretty colors. So those are definitely something to check out at the drugstore. All these old Kylie metallics. Um, I think these are literally from 2016 and that is very old and I also just never really reach for metallics so they're gonna have to go look at that beautiful chocolate brown color that's another one in those in that L'Oreal um, chocolate collection look how gross that brush looks I think this one's time to go <laughs> all of these lip scrubs are really really old and so I think I'm gonna toss these. I actually think I've had this lip, MAC lip gloss for seven years and I think it's time to say goodbye. Although I do really love it. It's called Love Nectar. Uh, I don't really like Jeffree Star's lip ammunition formula. Um, in fact, I think he's discontinuing it. I do love this like cool toned pink color, but honestly mine are dried out and not very good anymore, so. I tried this plumping gloss from Soap and Glory and it really didn't do anything. So I don't love Kylie's stick lipstick formula. At least this was the original formula. I don't know if she's changed it. So that's gonna go. Okay, I really love this liquid lipstick color, but it smells so off. Like it is, it's definitely bad. And I, you know, I still love this color, but I'd want to support a brand that's a little less controversial. So if you guys have suggestions on colors similar to this, I would love to hear them because this color is so unique and I really love wearing it. So suggestions, please. Okay, so this is another really old Kylie lip kit. I'm going to keep the lip liner. Um, because I think I might still use a dark lip liner like that, but I don't really go for the, the full lip that color, so. I'm probably gonna keep all my Kylie lip liners again. I really like the lip liner formula, um, but some of these are really old. Like, you can see that one separating so much, so. Boss Lip Kit by Kylie is one of the, like, all-time greatest reds. I love this red. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of organize, trying to do, like, glosses together, stick lipsticks together, nude lipsticks together, that sort of thing. Okay, this drawer is like eyeliner and mascara and stuff, and I don't really keep that many like old eye products, but there are some things like, I don't use this, um, that can probably go. This is a pack of mini mascaras that I bought like years ago that need to be gone. Definitely don't want to keep old mascaras. These are some like cream eyeshadows I don't ever use. Okay, eyeshadow palettes are hard for me to get rid of because um, they are so expensive and I honestly use a lot of them for like specific looks. But I'm just gonna go through and see if there's any that I like literally never use anymore. Like these, y'all remember when Morphe palettes used to look like this? 
Oh my god, y'all remember when the 35O was like the most amazing palette on the market? This one? I think I might just have to keep this one for memory's sake. But I think this one can go because I never use this ever. We have a loose pan. It's just very cool toned. I don't really do that anymore. So that will go. Okay, and then this is our last drawer, guys. We're almost done. Again, a lot of these palettes I really like. But like this, I got in BoxyCharm and I never ever reach for it. Y'all remember when Crayola Beauty dropped? Oh my god. This is like going down memory lane. I did another review of this on my blog. Like this was not good at all. But I kind of just want to keep it for the memes. The packaging is cute as hell though. Let's be honest. All right guys, so that is it for the makeup purge. I have more makeup like all spread out on my desk here and like some palettes kind of on display, but those are more the things I reach for like every day. So definitely not gonna get rid of anything like here, but that, that was a feat for me. That really hurt me. I'm kind of a makeup hoarder, collector, whatever you want to call it. And it's kind of hard to say goodbye to like my first Kylie lip kit and stuff like that. <laughs> I just like to tie memories to things, you know what I mean? That was very productive for me and I'm glad we did that together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving it a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. And that's all I have for you today. So stay on fleek friends, bye.